Hey guys, and welcome back to The Last of Us. Now, let's have a quick catch up before um, I continue this game. Um, this game, we should have hopefully been on about part four by now, but on top of all the issues that I've had recently, my computer has decided to take a huge shit uh, last week, and I've basically had it apart. Um, cleaned it all out and essentially um, I did mention this on stream back when I had time to do that my cat actually threw up in my computer <laughs> about six yeah it's got to be about I don't know four five six months ago something like that um, now I thought I saved it and cleaned everything out but one of the ram sticks does appear to have uh, some pretty nasty corrosion on there so that was causing all sorts of issues, so I've taken that out. Um, and when I put it back together, it was not registering two of my uh, hard drives. The boot SSD was showing up, but the uh, game SSD and the mechanical storage drive that I use for, you know, <laughs> all of my recordings wasn't showing up either. So, um, yeah, loads of fiddling and whatnot. That actually apparently was down to a new Windows 10 update, which I didn't know about. Um, but yeah, it took like five days to sort that out, which was a huge pain. But anyway, enough of this. We are back. We're back to The Last of Us. And I've actually been playing this with Gabby um, in our spare time because she's never played this before and she's loving it. So when we last left off, we were... Following our friend Tess after going through the events of the past, more or less how this outbreak first started. So we've got a friend, she's called Tess, she, we seem to be one half of some kind of uh, dodgy crew, shall we say. So, some guy called Robert has sent some goons after Tess. Hmm, interesting. Well, I think it's about time we uh, looked into this. I got served the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Oh, that's such crap. Soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. I'll make sure to tell them that. What about you, Joel? You been summoned for this bullshit yet? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Hmm. So, summoned to go outside. Soldiers meant to handle it, huh? Well, maybe they're uh, running out of soldiers. After all, 60% of the human race vanished in the last 20, 20 years. Although they didn't vanish. They, um, well, became more shadows of their former selves. Um, seek the fire. So we have some firefly information there. Seek the fire. Hmm. Interesting. Well, looks like civilization is kind of normal-ish here. I guess. Attention. Citizens are required to carry a certain amount of all time. Compliance with all city personnel is mandatory. Look at that. Ration line hasn't opened yet. They must be running low again. Hmm. I guess the government's really uh, struggling to keep it together. Are you fucking kidding me? That's three weeks in a row now. Well, what are you gonna do? This is such fucking bullshit. I bet those uniforms over there—they don't get half rations. Keep your voice down. What's wrong with you? Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let them take me. Just be quiet. Well. Hmm. Interesting. So supply chains are not doing overly well. Um, now, if that is true that their soldiers are actually getting full rations, you couldn't really blame them, you know. You want your soldiers to be as in good shape as possible. So, sadly, dude, that kind of makes sense. I mean, this place is pretty well secure. Let's keep going anyway. Come on, Tess. Look to the light. Stuff is Go. everywhere. Oh shit. Hold her Bro, down. Hands wrong. 
Do it. Please! Eyes forward. Alright. He's down. Shit. That's heavy. People, this isn't a show. Keep moving along. Fuck. Yes, sir. We'll stay put. They're on their way. Well, no running, kids. I guess. Shit. I suppose you fuck around with the infection. Seems that's like what you more get. Are mm. That just means more people are sneaking. In. Damn. What's up, Joel? What's going on over here? They fucking lynched him. The entire squad. Yeah. The way I heard it, they lined him up in the street and cut him up. Retribution and shit. If we ever lose control of this place to the stragglers, that's what'll happen to us. That would never go down here. Any straggler even looks at me the wrong way, I put his ass down. I'm sure that's what they thought at every other QZ before riots broke out. Mm. It's those goddamn fireflies. They keep stirring the population up. We put an end to them. That's how you solve this shit. We agree on that. <sighs> So, looks like the uh, what's left of the government is um, running with an iron fist, as you'd imagine. And these fireflies. What are these? Some kind of freedom fighters of sorts, I guess? Hmm. Fred, you hear they took Marianne? What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Hmm. Any association with these fireflies is uh, not good. I'm guessing wanted for theft, for firefly affiliation. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Remember who we who we were. Yeah, those days are long gone. Uh, to be honest, let's keep going anyway. Let's get out of here. This place. I gotta sell my papers. They shouldn't give us any static up there. It's way cool. Hmm. This place doesn't exactly make you feel secure. All right. Drive on through. Hi, right, dude. See you later. There you go. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right. Move on through. Thanks. Oh! Okay. So, it looks like the fireflies are attacking this place? Attacking the government? Shit. Hmm. Okay. Well, they just fucked our route up. So much for the easy route. Yeah, all right. Patch yourself up, all right? Bastards. And I thought today was gonna be easy. Bind up your wounds with a health kit. Using a health kit takes time. Make sure you're in a safe place. Equip the health kit with up on the D-pad, then hold R2 to start binding. Yeah, when I first started playing this, I never realized there was going to be such an in-depth kind of healing system and crafting system. They're going to close all the checkpoints. We're going to have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. Oh, great. Cute. No, I can't actually show you that yet, but they will explain it. But yeah, there's a whole um, crafting system and health upgrade system and, uh, or should I say, character upgrading with skill points and stuff. I was not expecting that when I first played this, and I love that in a game. I love it. Hey Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. <sighs> you too? Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene? What do the Fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> You think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Hmm. Looks like we've got our own little band of uh, 
No good Marlene nicks. looking for Robert? What do you make of that? More or less. I don't like it. We better find him before the fireflies do. Hmm. Now before we actually... Oh, we still can't go into our inventory yet. Okay. Still in tutorial mode, I guess. Which is fair enough. This is us. Hey, guys. How's it going? <sighs> Shit's stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's been quiet. No signs of military or infected. That's what I like to hear. That's something at least. Small mercies. Could clean up, clean up a little Joel, bit in here, guys. Hands. I mean, come on. We've got, we've got lanterns. We've got chess. Looks like they've been playing poker. Hmm. Life without video games, huh? Jesus. Oh, I suppose there's lots of drinking as well. Fair play. Kind of had enough alcohol issues over the last week, which I'm not going to get into, but yeah. Yeah, I'll take it easy out there. All right, buddy. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast. Ooh. Oh, God, this place reeks. I need to wash with a throw away down here. We haven't, like, jumped into the latrine, have we? Hmm. Now, cons here. All right, Tess. Now, considering this is a PlayStation 3 game, uh, and it kind of had like a minimal upgrade on the PS4. I imagine it kind of looks pretty similar, apart from the fact that you get higher resolution, 60 frames a second. I think they've polished up the textures a little bit, but not too much. I mean, this game is starting to... You're starting to see the, the paint peeling a little bit, but it still looks very nice. It's held up remarkably well. And of course, having this game in 60 frames a second uh, on the Pro as well is really nice. Apparently, it didn't run very well on the PlayStation 3 at all. So, what we got here? No, not bad. Not a lot of ammo. Hmm. Yeah, shots count. Yeah. Firearms are a thing in this game, uh, as well as melee combat. Bullets aren't exactly common. Um, they're not super rare either on this difficulty, but... Me up. To start off with, they're, they're kind of a rare commodity. But the guns and all of the firearms, for that matter, are really game changers in a firefight. They're really powerful. But me melee. Melee is a lot of fun. Me up? Um, as I said, I've been playing this with my partner and she's been struggling with the combat a little bit because it is quite difficult, but it's also very satisfying. Anyway, come on, Tess. Let's get your ass up and out of here. Yes, ma'am. Be nice, um... Well, I don't want to Come say on. too much. I know it's an old game and, you know, it's everywhere. But there's got to be a few people that haven't seen this game yet. And uh, from some of the comments I received on the first video, um, some of you guys haven't seen this game yet, which is really freaking exciting. It's always exciting when you're playing like something really cool and other people haven't experienced Be it. Be careful. What am I not? <laughs> that a trick question? Hmm. Also, always look and search around the environments because there's plenty of pickups. There's plenty of gear to get, bullets and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think it's RNG. I think it's always in the same locations, but I don't really remember where all the... I remember where a lot of the stuff is. Um, but I don't remember where everything is, you know, and you don't want to miss upgrades. Here we go. Here's the upgrade system where we can upgrade uh, our character and our collectibles as well. So obviously we don't have a lot of uh, collectibles at the moment. We've got the map of the quarantine zone and we have a military pamphlet. You have a look at this. Stages of infection. We've got runners to start with. Do not let them swarm you. We've got stalkers. We've got clickers. They can't see. Now, if we read this, it's quite interesting. Stage one, runner. Do not let them swarm you. Cordyceps has taken over the victim's motor functions. Fast and agile. Stage one infected usually travel in packs. Do not let them swarm you. Stage two, stalker. Hide and ambush victims. Check your surroundings. Stage three, clicker, can't see. Clickers are lethal. 
Completely blind. Acute hearing. Use your uh, use echolocation to seek out prey. Keep your distance. Stage three infected are known for their ferocious attacks and are extremely lethal. Yeah, clickers are brutal if they grab you and you don't have a certain skill you're dead they're a one hit kill um i'd like to say they're rare but they're not and then you get stage four now interesting thing about this cordyceps vi virus as well a lot of people always wonder what's going to happen could you just sit back and let the zombies well, i quote zombies um die of starvation not so with this cordyceps uh, for instance clickers are supposed to have been infected for about 10 years um, and they've slowly mutated into into that and then there's a stage four which we'll see a little bit later on but that's what happens when you've been infected for 15 to 20 years so sitting down sucking your thumb in a corner waiting for the zombies to die out in this game yeah not gonna happen i'm afraid not uh not gonna happen Hey Tess. Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. You got your ways. Aww. Uh, one thing you will notice in this game, the synergy between the characters is superb. That's one of the things that this game does so well. The character development is excellent. And uh, although the gameplay is good, it holds up. It definitely kind of feels like a last gen game. <sighs> Where's the ladder? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. But the characters and the storytelling in this game really separates it from a lot of other games. Well, I know the ladder is. Let's grab got it. Got it. Great, bring it over. Yeah, there we go. Tutorial unlocked. Uh, yeah, we, we don't need the tutorial. Thank you very much. All right, let's go stick this up. Now, when I've moved and all that, I don't... Ladies first. Think. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about my webcam. It's all relative. This way. I think I'm just going to leave it for streaming, but I don't actually have it set up at the moment, so. I, I don't know. I might not use it for regular Let's Plays anymore. We're going to go back to the way things used to be, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well. And you see that the environments in this game as well, they're so good and you go through so many of them. They just look so epic and awesome. Everything feels really realistic, you know? As realistic as a video game can go. All right, they're parts. We use parts to upgrade our weapons, but we can only upgrade our weapons at a uh, upgrade bench. And there's another fuck factor with upgrading weapons as well. You need tools for level 1 to 5 upgrades. You need uh, tools. Every time you pick up a case of tools, that upgrades your uh, upgrade skill to level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. And fireflies. So, if you miss any of the toolkits, which you can do, you can miss out on some of the top upgrades. Which is a bit sucky. Firefly Pendant. Now these are all pretty... I mean, that's a Firefly Pendant. That I don't really care about collecting all of these. Um, that's all they are. They all look different, which is cool. They're all different models. They're all like different you know, names and numbers. And they're damaged in different ways. So it is cool. But, yeah. But all the logs and, and the files you can find. Think Resident Down Evil. Here. Are really good. I'm going to try and get them all. I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to try. You think Robert's still got our guns? For his sake, he better. Mm. Once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Oh, I'm meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo. Bill. Emily well, always shows up with something. Should keep us busy for a while. Okay. Hold up. Spores. Uh-oh. Yeah, so if you know anything about the cordyceps virus, or fungus, I should say. It is a fungus. I think mushrooms. Um, it infects insects. And takes over their bodies. And um, once they're infected, generally it, it forces the, the host insect to climb um, to a fairly high place in the colony. 
And then it unleashes spores, which infect all the other insects. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. They're coming mm. out of something. Stay alert. And that's how it reproduces, essentially. And yeah, cordyceps, it is a real thing. This is what if cordyceps um, essentially mutated and came to humans. And there's our first culprit. There's our culprit. God, he's not that old. Better keep your eyes and ears mm, open. You see all the mushrooms sprouted from the body. And all the fungus spreading around. Jesus. That's what I like about this game. Yes, it's zombies, but it's quite a unique take on it. And look, there's another one there. She is literally, well, worm food. Yeah, if only we had a flamethrower. I should be able to fit through here. Oh, bollocks. You okay? Yeah. Butter fingers. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. Okay. Good thing we got a gas mask. That's all I can say. Easy. Hope the filters are good. Watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. Don't leave me to turn. Please. What do you want to do? You poor bastard. Courtesy, mate. Poor bastard. We still have some humanity left. I'd hope you'd do the same for me. Good night, brother. Alright, let's get out of here. Have a good sweep around. Like I say, um, always look everywhere because loot. Loot is life in this game. Look at all these. Look at all this cordyceps everywhere. Jesus. This is not good, guys. This place is crawling. Well, let's get out of here. Up ahead. You hear that? Shh, shh. Right, so we can R1 to focus Joel's hearing. Shit, there's someone down. Now, on harder difficulties, you can't use this mode, but I actually really like using this mode. Sneak up on the infected, yep. So sneaking, you can get stealth kills in this game. The stealth in this is pretty good. It is fairly robust. And we're going to use it quite a lot, hopefully. Right, he's down. Right, it sounds like we've still got two left out here enjoying their meal. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to take these guys out or do we want to leave them? She's not having a good time. Well, I say we're going to take them out because I can show off the melee combat then. Now, these are just runners. Runners aren't really much to worry about. There we go. Lots of context sensitive actions in the combat. All right, that's all of them. Really fun. Really fun. And now, Nev. Let's head back into the city. Yeah, don't worry about it, Tess. We're on it. Let's go upstairs first. Because uh, my loot sensors are tingling. Uh, what have we got up here? Oh, we've got a door. I like going through doors. That's what doors are for. They're for going through. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Ooh. Note to brother. Hey, brother. We were so close. I'm sitting outside the walls knowing I'll never see the inside of a zone. While waiting for the smuggler to show up, we heard a squad of soldiers approaching. In our panic, we ducked into this building in hopes of hiding from them. None of us noticed the spores until it was too late. We're all infected. We have a few hours, maybe a day at most. I hope the smuggler is still coming so I can at least pass this note to you. I should have listened to you and come to the zone with you when I had the chance. <laughs> now it's too late. Take care, Mark. 
heavy stuff. This they got infected trying to sneak into the zone. Mm -hmm. As much as everyone complains about it, you got all these poor bastards wishing they were living on the inside. Yeah. That was a candy bar, or a chocolate bar, as we call it in the UK. Um, you can't take those with you. They are instant use items. Yeah. So that's what happened to these people. There were spores, and they got munched on. This is not a happy game. Um, it's a very dark, brutal game. <sighs> Some fresh air. So if anyone's hoping for like a That's the one thing I love about the outside. <laughs> A nice, happy, romantic ending. <laughs> Don't you build to get you some of air pressures? No. Hey, no. If they weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. And that's one thing that I'm quite excited about the second game. Um, the fact that the developers have said it's going to be darker and more violent than this game. And I'm like, how can it be darker and more violent than this? Because this is as... Well, this is dark, and yeah, there's some stuff that happens in this game that's pretty fucking savage. I'm not going to ruin. Through here. Cover the entrance. I got it. Well, this place looks empty. For now. Hmm. So it looks like uh, Damn it. Plank fell down. Joel and Tess here are no strangers to the outside, breaking curfew and that kind of stuff. Be a dear, would you? Okay. I'm on it. Don't worry, Tess. I won't want you to hurt yourself. Come on, Joel. We got a job to do. <gasps> Planks are a big thing in this game. Planks and ladders. Um, it's quite cool. I do actually like it. Kind of slows game down. Yeah. Pass it to me. And it makes the game feel a little bit more realistic in a way. Solving problems and whatnot. It's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. Alright. Yeah, Tess is pretty cool. I like her. She's a cool character. I like Joel. A lot of people don't like Joel for reasons that you'll see, but I do. I Joel's cool. All the characters are good in their own way in this game. They all have plenty of uh, Here, character to them, Bossy shall we say. Right, let's head on out to the outside. Mm, smell the air. Ah, smell the air. Just hope there's no spores in the air. Got another candy bar here. I'll have it. Nice. Movement in this game is very fluid as well, but I think that comes down to the make sure there ain't any soldiers or frame rate. It's clear. Come on. All right, Tess. I thought that's cordyceps then. It's a fucking fire hydrant. Holy shit! Whew. Don't get so jumpy, Joel. All right, let's keep following Tess around. There's a firefly pendant here. But you have to spend around to get it, which... Eh, I mean, if you go for the trophies, I guess. But a bullet for a pendant? Mm, it's quite a high price to pay, especially this early in the game, to be honest. Let's see if we've got any goodies around here. I mean, this area is kind of well-traveled by people um, escaping. Uh, curfew. The no good nicks. The, the, the delinquents, if you will. I don't know why I started there. The, 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 the delinquents. So there wouldn't be a huge amount of loot here. Unless anyone stashed stuff, you know. Because it is a more or less fairly well travelled path. Pick up that ammo. I'm sure we'll need it. Ooh, yes, please. Bullets. Give me bullets. Much better. 
Okay. Hey, little man. Make sure the coast is clear. No soldiers, none of Robert's men, yeah? Hmm. You know he's expecting us. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> Good to go. Come on. All right. Let's get out of here. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not got right now, Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good looking. Not the car. now. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> can do that. Shut up, Terrence. Yeah, I'll help you puppy back. Hmm. So, back to society, more or less, anyway. I'm guessing this isn't some kind of quarantine zone. This is more of a black market you smugglers den, I'm guessing. A little bit of a lawless area. So what we've got going on here. If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. Well, we got plenty of ration cards. Firing for bullets. We got plenty of ration cards. Hurry up. We're starving. Keep your shirt on. Next batch coming right up. Hey, don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. I'm waiting on this rat forever. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty rat. Rat burger, just like a demolition man. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that looks more like a rat kebab, but hey. Sorry, man. These dogs are all accounted for. Sold out in less than an hour. Try me next week. Fifteen tickets each. Mm. Welcome to the bazaar. You touch it, you mm. buy it. Yeah, sure Tess, thing, pal. It's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. Huh. Who the hell is that? None of your damn business. Sounds like a bit of a player. Yeah, we're definitely amongst the lawless here. I suppose you got to do something to uh, pass the time. He's done. <laughs> Would you really want to risk getting yourself hurt in this kind of environment, though? Hmm. Where do you think you're going? Through the door. Malik, sit back oh, down. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Oh, I'm glad I have your permission, sir. Pretty sure I didn't need it. Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. Now, this is kind of like a weird point here. If you go through here, you can't actually go back onto the bus. Like a little trigger area. If we get far enough out, if we go back round, see that the um, door to the bus should be closed. Yeah. Malik locks us out. Dick. So what else have we got going on here? Pretty much, we what you want? buy whatever we want. What do you sell, matey? Do you sell candles? Sell candles or singular cards? Hmm. I'll pass on the singular cards, if that is quite alright with you. What do you sell? You sell tools by the look of things. Got baseball bats, got pipes, wrenches, shovels. Shovel with a very short handle, I might add. Hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we don't need any of that. These, look at these collectibles. Look at these collectibles. They are not easy to, to notice. Anyway, let's have a look, shall we? Drafting notice. <laughs> Fuck this written on it. Notice. Uh, the civilian service system. The general of the Boston quarantine zone too. Fuck this. <laughs> Greetings. As an able-bodied civilian, you are hereby issued work orders to participate in various duties relating to the care of the quarantine zone. Please report... Excuse me. Please report promptly to the main office... Uh, Charles Bridge on December 15th and 16.30 a.m. for forwarding to an armed forces management station. Willful failure to appear at the place and hour of the day named in this order subjects the violator to ration restriction and possible loss of zone residency. Shit. Bring your order with you when you report. Important notice. Read carefully. If you have uh, participated in work duties in the past six months, bring evidence with you. 
and service will be postponed if you have any physical or mental condition and which in your opinion may disqualify you for service bring a physician's certificate describing that condition so there is still some structure uh, I wish that was dated there is still some government structure in this place and you got a little girl there playing with her toy playing hard as she tries to hide that from us. Don't worry, we're not going to take your, your teddy. That guy's been hoarding all sorts of shit in the factory. Whoa, whoa, hold on. We should get a move on. Wanted Firefly affiliation. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should get on. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to end it for this video. Um, interesting stuff so far. This game will pick up in speed as we go through it, but at the moment we're just drinking in the atmosphere um, and enjoying these uh, residential areas. Um, this game does also get very combat heavy as well, and the combat is so fun. Whether you're fighting people or the infected, the combat is a lot of fun. Um, delays for the videos are still going to be, well, they're not going to be regular. Um, I don't have any more time to record today and I've only recorded one video, so hopefully I'll be able to record a couple tomorrow, maybe, possibly. Hmm. But anyway, I'm enjoying playing this. It's uh, This game is so much fun and it's definitely one of my favourites. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.